So there's a special election going on in Georgia for a congressional seat, and there was a debate a few nights ago. The Democrat is a guy named John Ossoff, and the Republican is a woman named Karen Handel, or Handel, however you say it. So let's see what she had to say here about wages during a back and forth. This is an example of the fundamental difference between a liberal and a conservative. I do not support a livable wage. What I support is making sure that we have an economy that is is robust with low taxes and less regulation so that those small businesses that would be dramatically hurt if you impose higher minimum wages on them are able to do what they do best, grow jobs and create good paying jobs for the people in the 6th District. Quote, I do not support a livable wage. God, these people are so stupid. That is so stupid. That's massively out of touch with even most Republicans, by the way. It's over 80% of the American people that want to raise the minimum wage. So when a Republican says something like, I don't support a livable wage, it's not like other Republicans are like, yep, damn right. I don't like livable wages either. No, they go, the fuck you just say? <laughs> this is like when they accidentally mess up and tell the truth. When the Republican uh, forgets to bullshit you. I don't see there's a difference between, uh, between what you say, liberal and conservative or Democrat and Republican. I don't support a livable wage. Well, thank you. That is correct. <laughs> that is the difference. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. Think about how backwards it is, man. The year's 2017, and we have politicians in one of the parties, and even the some Democrats don't support a living wage. They support raising the minimum wage, but not to a living wage. But they say you should work full time and not make enough money to survive. So that's wage slavery. It's an official position that's like, a, like maybe the dominant position among elected officials. Yeah, no, it's uh, wage slavery. I'm pro-wage slavery. Did you know that if the minimum wage simply kept up with inflation and was equal to what it was in the year 1968... Right now, it would be over $10 an hour. So, you're making less now on minimum wage than somebody made in 1968 on minimum wage. Isn't that an amazing fact? Did you know if it kept up with um, productivity, it'd be over $20 an hour. You'd make over $20 an hour. If it kept up with the income gains of the top 1%, it'd be about $22 an hour. That's what the minimum wage would be. So, if anything, the wage is artificially low. You know, Republicans like to say, well, we can't make it higher because that'll, you know, then it's artificial. You're giving them more than they're worth. No, if anything, it's artificially low right now. So, this, it's just, it's a crazy position. And afterwards, there was this big scandal afterwards, of course. So, her campaign released a statement. And what did they say? No, 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 you guys misunderstood. I'm not against a livable wage. I'm just against enforcing a livable wage. That's like saying, you know, no, no, no. I'm not against clean water. I'm just against enforcing regulations that would give us clean water. But why? <laughs> but why? Because you have a, a principled objection to the government taking part in the economy like that. Okay, then why not bring back child labor laws? Uh, excuse me, why not bring back child labor and get rid of the laws? Why not bring it back? I don't want the government being involved in the economy like that. Okay, get rid of child labor laws. Have kids work in the fucking factories again. Why not get rid of all the regulations on coal mining and maybe some people get black lung and what are you going to do? By the way, they still get it right now and the regulations are far too lax. But this is the problem with these kinds of people. They're just, all they want to do is represent the business owners. And the owners say, I don't want to pay my worker a living wage. So they go, okay, you gave me money for my campaign, so I will, make, I will allow you to not pay your worker a living wage. It's just, it's fucked up, man. The year is 2017. We got to have a modern economy. We got to pay people enough to survive. Oh, God, even having to say that sentence is like, what? <laughs> like, we're not at that point yet, really? Uh, but there we are. And loud and proud, I do not support a livable wage. Thank you. Exit stage right. I hope you're done here. By the way, if this doesn't sink her campaign, I, 
And it might not. It might not. We saw the fucking body slam Magoo in, uh, what was it? The Montana special election or whatever. He won. You body slam a reporter for asking you a good question, and you win. And you win easily. Pretty easily. So if this doesn't sink her campaign, man, these Democrats are beyond pathetic. And Ossoff has been compared to like a, Ber uh, not, not Bernie, excuse me, please. He's been compared to like an Obama type character. Like he's kind of running one of those like, you know, we can work together and hold hands and Republicans aren't that bad and I'm for change and blah, 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 blah. And, um, so if somebody could lose, it's this guy. It's this guy. I feel like we're past that Obama kind of fucking good talker vague hope change shit. You know what I mean? Like, we're now in the Bernie Sanders era of like, let me tell you what I'm going to do for you. Medicare for all, living wage, free college, yada, yada, yada. So if you're a politician who's being a politician and being on message and Ossoff is on message like that, oh, I'm Obama, look at me. I'm... Then I think those people can lose. So we'll see. I mean, I, I still hope he wins because he's better than this fucking cretin. <laughs> I do not support a livable wage. There you go. So, you know, choice is yours. Let's see what happens.